We are going to be talking about synonyms and shades of meaning with particular adjectives. So let's begin with a question. What are synonyms and why do we need to learn them? Can anybody tell me what are synonyms? And why do we need to learn them? Why are they important? Do you know? <laughs> so if we have a look at the first slide, we have shades of meaning. Some words in English can be very similar in meaning. We call them synonyms. These words can have subtle changes in meaning. So here it's a silent letter. B, we say subtle, subtle changes in meaning. They help us paint a mental picture of exactly what you want to say. So not only a meaning of what you want to say, but a feeling. So we're going to look at that today. So do you ever feel as if you cannot find the right word? That you're, you're struggling to express yourself properly? Well, today I'm going to help you with an idea of denotation, the literal meaning of a word, and connotation the feelings associated with a word. Let's continue. As always, we're going to start with a little story. So, humans live in a color-drenched world. In fact, there are one million colors that the human eye can distinguish. Other researchers put the number as high as 7 million. How we translate colors into language is very challenging. Did you know that the Inuit people have over 300 words for snow? Why? It is because they want to distinguish between subtle differences like color, texture, composition, and origin. 